Okay, on um, this uh, topic, um, random variables and distributions, and got normal distribution, find a probability basic. These revolve around uh, one simple idea, and that's a formula that says z is equal to x minus mu over sigma. Now, the what part that isn't maybe so simple is to figure out the setup on it. Um, but this is always your first first um, setup you need to do. Now, we're going to find we can do this actually in the um, in the software, so we'll see that. Now, you got three cases. One of the cases is where the implication is that you're looking at a less than situation. Um, one of the cases is that you're looking at a greater than type situation. And then the other one is that it's between two values, like this. Um, now this, I'll just label this as x, and I'll label this as x. Now here is where you'd have uh, two x values. So I'll label this as x1, and x2. Okay, so um, if we look at the, the um, Alex, the calculator, the button we're particularly looking at is this one right here, probability that z is less than or equal to a value. So this is looking at the area to the left, area of probability. Okay. Um, now uh, that we've looked at that, if it is the area of the left you're trying to find, uh, then, and I'm going to refer to this button here, uh, the probability z is less than or equal to, you want to do probability that z is less than or equal to, blank there. So you push that button first. And then, um, you're going to put in your x minus uh, mu uh, sigma. So x minus mu sigma. And then you're going to do, uh, I think it's equals button. Let's see if that's a true statement. Equals, yeah. Okay, now if it's this one. Um, you're going to um, do one minus and then push that button. And then you'll put in your x minus mu over sigma and you push your equals. Because uh, the technology is based upon the area or probability of the left. Now, if you have this one, this one's a little bit harder. Um, we're going to first push our button. And then we're going to put in um, x2 minus mu over sigma. And then we'll do a minus. And you push that button again. And we'll put in x1 minus mu over sigma. It crisscrosses. Now the exact reason why they'll explain in, in Alex, I'm just showing you how to how to use the technology to, to solve these problems. Okay, so these are our three, to three types. If I come over here, suppose that the uh, tenor length of, of wood lice are approximately normal, normally distributed with mean of 0 0.2, standard deviation of 0 0.5. What proportion of uh, wood lice have a tenor that are at least 0 0.23? At least, like if I at least going to give you a $5, I'm going to give you five, six, seven, you know, and I know those decimals too. So uh, at least means greater than or equal to. Now greater than or equal to would be my second case here because it's shaded to the right. So that says we're going to do one minus, so one minus, and I'll push my button here. And um, now you need to do a fraction. And, and I, if there's a fraction on here, I, I cannot see it. 
Um, and then we're going to have x minus mu over sigma. So x um, will be the number that goes with your at least, greater than, less than, equal to, not equal to, between, uh, so 0 0.23. Now I'm going to do a divide, so it creates a fraction. And then I'll click up here. Remember, this has to be x minus mu, our mean. Mean is 0 0.2. Over sigma, which is 0 0.05. So again, x minus mu over sigma, and then we'll press our equals. And this wants us to round it to at least um, four decimal places 2743. 2743. Okay, more practice. Uh, an aptitude test is designed to measure leadership abilities of the test subjects. Suppose that scores in test and enrollment district, the mean of 570, and standard deviation 120. Whenever they tell you the mean like that, that's mu, standard deviation is sigma. The individuals who exceed 700, well, this is another greater than case. Exceeds means uh, greater than. So that would again be case two. We'll do one minus. Okay, so one minus, I'll push that button, and we want our x uh, who exceeds 700. So 700 is our x, and I'll do my divide, and then I'll come up here. This needs to be minus the mean. It tells us the mean, uh, the mean of 570. So 570 over sigma, which is our standard deviation, so 120, and then equals. Four decimal places, uh, 1393. Hopefully they're not all greater than. Uh, this one looks like less, so that's a good. Okay, a certain test designed to measure satisfaction of an individual with uh, his, her relationship. Suppose that scores on tests are uh, approximately normally distributed with a mean of 60, that's mu, and a standard deviation of 8, that's sigma. An individual with a score of 50 or less is considered dissatisfied with his or her relationship. So it looks like less than or equal to. Less than or equal to is case 1, shade to the left. So we'll just push our button. And we need x minus mu. Um, Individuals score 50 or less. So our 50 would be our x. And I do a divide, so it creates a fraction. Minus mu, which is 60, over sigma, our standard deviation, which is 8. And then equals 0 0.1056. 1056. Okay. See if I can find a between. Um, yeah, I can get another problem. By the way, uh, one year return of stock would be negative, means less than less than zero. Um, so that's a level less than. Okay, let me just put some some bogus answer there because that's not what I want. Uh, recheck. Continue. Okay, at least here's another greater than. Um, I do it wrong three times if I do this something. <laughs> Make me redo it all. So, okay. Greater than. Um, after this, I'll give one more try and see if I can find between. Um, or at least six feet tall. So that's uh, greater than or equal to. So that's your one minus. That's uh, case two. Okay. So one minus ability and x which would be uh, at least six which is 72 inches they give us that hint so 72 
push my divide to create a fraction. Then go back up here because this seems to be x minus um, move. And mean is 71. Standard deviation is 3.5. Point three eight seven five three eight seven five. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna put four. I said five. Uh, I mean, what proportion have less than? Still less than. Let me let me give you an example of the um, between. Make this a little bit bigger. I'm obviously not going to be able to get one if I um, sit here trying. I'm like you have all types. There's only three types. Okay, so if I came back and I said, okay, the the mean is this is an example. The mean is ten, and standard deviation is two. And I'm um, wanting to find the probability um, that um, your value you're trying to find is between uh, 8.1 and um, 10.2, for example. Well, this would be our x1, and this would be our x2. So we're going to push our push our button. Then I'm going to do x2, so do 10.2 minus mu, which is 10, divided by sigma, which is 2. And you'll probably still be in uh, here, so you have to do a, a, probably a right arrow key to get out of there so we can do a minus. And then I'll push that button again. And at this point, we're going to do x1, which is 8.1 minus mu, divided by 2. And then your equals, of course. I didn't put that on there, but that should be implied. So to show that, what that looks like. Okay, so push my uh, my probability button here first. And then I need, um, what do I need? 10.2, 10.2 divide, so I'll create a fraction. Uh, minus. 10 over 2. That's this part right here. Now I need to get out and do the minus. If I do a minus here, it'll be in a, in a fraction. You can probably click over here or do your right arrow key, whichever you want. Minus, push that. And then I want my next one is 8.1. 8.1, create a fraction. And 8.1 minus 10. And I'll put two down here. And then we'll push our equals. And rather than four decimal places would give us our answer. So that shows you all three types on how to work out of these, these type of problems.